Fuck it. That'll do. Hello, guys. Wait, wait. Uh, oh, there it is. Hey, guys. Daniel James here. And today we're going to be doing um, some stuff. For some reason, I look really small. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You can actually, I just noticed, I just noticed you can see the uh, the old computer. So, hello, guys. Um, so today, I'm going to put you over here for now. So today, uh, what I was planning to do is I have to, not have to, I don't have to do anything. But uh, I thought I would try writing a demo with the old um, Berlin Brass. And I'm trying to debate if I should do it as like a big epic thing or if I should perhaps rein it in, do something more soundtrack like. So, um, so yeah, like, like we, uh, like we mentioned the other day, if any of you, uh, caught the Halloween stream we did the other day, uh, I did mention that, um, for the time being, you know, on Halloween, I would be, um, you know, busy for the next few weeks, finishing up the, uh, the, the feature film that I was doing. Um, for universal which was good uh, i finished that i delivered it so i am back to my good old self and soon i have to leave the country <laughs> i finally get to a place i want to be and we have to leave um so i've got chat over here today because we will be using a cubase and in cubase i have the mixer like on the side window maybe Maybe I should put this over here because this is where I look for chat and then I'll put the mixer over here because even when you guys can't see it, you can see it, if you know what I mean. Because like if I put it here, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of you can kind of see it off to the side there. Kind of just see it and it looks a little bit more, a little bit more pro. So anyway, um, so yeah, I, I finished that project, which is good. Um Holy shit, we've been busy, haven't we? So not only did we move across the country four times, we uh, we also did two feature films, um, a video game for Amazon, a couple of little video games at the start of the year. And now, finally, I am in a situation where I can sit and talk with you guys as I've been missing, and we can actually, please, I hope this works, we can actually write um, some music. So like, I have no idea what I'm going to write today. So I'm probably just going to gonna feel it. What do you guys think? So how do you think I should, which way do you think I should go with this cue? Because, um, you know, Berlin Brass. What does that would sound like if I do it as a it's like a single horn. So one thing, one thing to mention before we start is, um, you know, this. I'll I'll mention it all when I do a video overview. But Um, one thing to mention about it is it's got hung notes, apparently. <laughs> no, one, th the one thing to mention about the um, the Hollywood, uh, not Hollywood, Jesus, don't say that, the Berlin brass is that um, it's like 200 gigabytes or something to download, which can be a bit of a pest, be a bit of a pain um, to deal with. And I downloaded it all and, you know, it was all good, all good fun. But then I went to install it and I had some um, corrupted files, which I, so I had to try and figure out what they were, <laughs> re-download those. Then once I did that uh, and it said it was all good, there's one, there's one set of articulations which haven't installed and reinstalling didn't fix it. So we're just going to have to not listen to that. And to be honest, you know, it's something we probably would have missed anyway, but it's the... Um, I don't need to be that big, Jesus. Uh, it it was the staccato and spiccato for the horns too. So these two, 
Is it Staccatissimo? Okay, maybe those ones. The Staccato? Yeah. There's some of the Staccato ones missing for some reason. Um, so I couldn't figure out why that was, but that's that's a thing. Oh, wait. We need to be on number one. So one thing I always like to do with brass libraries when I get them. So I'm a big fan of the French horn, as you guys may have guessed. So I always get like the soft sustain patch. And I just play chords for a little bit. Did I say spicar? <laughs> And then what I'll do, so let me let me actually try something. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get horn two, I'm gonna get them to just sit on a, on like an open voiced chord. And then on the first horn, I'm gonna load up some legato. That just sound beautiful and then so what I actually like to do is I like to um because whenever I'm writing and I did this a lot in the last film. It was a feature film and I had three weeks to do it. So what I what I tend to do is, um, by the way, if the sound starts fucking up or something, make sure to let me know. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pull up. So this is a string sound I absolutely love. So what I do is I, I play the two together, like...
might do that for my theme. So what did I do? It was like Okay, so it's Try that. So what would that be? I need a tempo. Come on, tempo calculator. Hang on. Do 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 do. So it was more like So the da 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 comes before. I'm actually going to bring that down a bit. 
Okay, so we're actually gonna we're actually gonna oops. Do 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 No way. So that could actually play on the... Yeah, let's try that. Feels like a piano line, doesn't it? Let's move this out of the way. Ha, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Tell you what, let's. That gap in between the two, I don't know how to do, so. Because like, it feels like it wants to go straight away. that theme. Do you guys think that theme works? Foot pedal stuck.
Totally wrong chord at the end there, but whatever. Let's just... Let's just get something going. Okay, I know what it is now. Except I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some um going for going for them good libraries. Um 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 um, um. Feck. Okay. Okay, so um dun 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 I'll fix that in a second. so low. <laughs> so what went wrong there? I must have played something wrong. Okay. Like a slight 
And I think that might be because uh, I'm doing the streaming, but it's fine. Can we do like a counter melody with the horns? So it's so we're on a C. Well, whatever it is. Play this on piano as well, actually. Let's let's actually like slam this onto the grid. And let's see how far off it is. I wonder if it's like minus 80, like the the metropolis. I know that this is. Wait. triplet bam. that's a triplet so we go bam 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 okay so that's on the beat so we need to fix this bam, 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 bam. I kind of want to do that. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try it. Do that on a different instrument. I kind of want it to be like.
Um. Like if it plays harder, it would play harder. That is a quarter note triplet. Get in place. Right, okay. Mm Not happy with the key. Um, how should we do this? Let's go up one. Everything up one. Why you not work? We need you to work. Get to work. It is okay. It is only game. Oh, there we go. Why did I load that into percussion? Am I some sort of idiot? There it is. I love that. I've got a key command which opens whatever tracks MIDI thing. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna swap. Hey, no, no, fuck off, oh, son. So we're gonna put you on the horn. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's start on the horn, but an octave lower. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that.
Shit. Okay, I got this. Be able to play that in, but okay. Okay, and then I'll go to the thing now.
Give it to do. Fuck off, brass. Nobody asked you to the party. Down a couple of keys. Down a rope. Down a couple of. Let's go down three. Fuck, can we do that? Div. I'm an absolute div.
them horns to come on give it some boys give it some you're already pretty so maybe i need to just turn you up and right, we're gonna go from that to five on that horn
needs to be an octave higher, apparently. The fuck are you doing, Harp? Okay, there's, an, there's more of an attack if I extend it, so maybe if I do that like... Coming in too early. The fuck are you doing, son? Right. <laughs> okay, we're going to go up here. Sorry. I'm in like focus mode. Do, no. Yeah. That's going to have a nice big. Okay, what are the strings doing?
Oh, okay. I did that the complete wrong way around. This needs to be more of a... There we go. Try that. Some big buoys there. <laughs> Give it the big booby bell. needs you all know what that needs who can call it who can call it can anyone call it nope Shush, shush, we can rebuild. Oh, helps if you actually play something, you div. Hang on one sec. Hi, guys, how's it going? I'm just going to save this. Just realized I haven't been saving. Let's, no, let's save this under Berlin Brass. Demo one. I may delete this, I'm not sure yet. Who knows? Who knows? Wait. That one's a bit pitchy. Come on. Come on. I want to see something. I want to see something. I want to see if these, these high string shorts can do. Probably just copy this on there. Let's have a listen. Hmm. Click track.
Steam over there. Keep playing, you cunt. Ah. Oh. Sound like that. Is that so awkward? Need some Tina Guo in it. Tina Guo's in everything. Jeez, you're way too loud, bro. like that as a melody line. I wonder if... Mm. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, choices, decisions. Maybe I can. This bad boy. Okay, I like the way that builds. thing like that. Actually, I'm going to put this on the Charlio. Get on the Charlio, you mug. And you're going to be like... I'll try it on here first.
Yeah, 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 yeah. For fuck's sake. Jeez, we're like a minute in this. <laughs> Why are you on 12? You should be on seven.
off with that shit. <laughs> To zoom in, zoom bar 18. I forget, I think these are minus 50. We'll see. No, not 90. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, of course. I forgot. Rid of that sustain pedal too. Play it down low like that. There we go. And we gotta massage in that modulation data, make it feel like it's rising and falling all over again. And we got to do the same with the expression pedal. Make it sound like the heavens are singing. The heavens are singing. La da 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 I'm doing a very um ostinato y type thing here. I'm just kind of having the music sway in and out, you know, doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Wait, wait, wait one second. could like this will probably sound really bad maybe if we don't have the gap so it's like yeah 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 we get it we get it with the freeze back oh god look that oh the way that swayed out of time oh that, that gave me a hernia Get off, get, get off, get off the ride.
Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, there it is. Oh, I do sound like that. That'd be nice. Maybe, maybe, I'll just do it where I'm supposed to do it. Dun 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 Oh no, okay, it's, it's like drip, boom. We're going triplet. Dun 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 dun. And it's like. Dun 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 dun. Come to that in a second. I need the any context. Where did my flute go?
calm them titties. Calm it. Whatevs. Nope. How we doing, guys? Everybody good? Sorry, I have to... Why the change from Ableton to Cubase? Because um, Cubase is... Sorry, I just realized that I'm on screen. I'm like sitting there like this. So yeah. <laughs> um, the reason I'm on Cubase is because I can do like things like this. First off, being able to zoom vertically is fantastic. Vertically and horizontally. Being able to select everything and see everything in one go, that's nice. Um... Oh, there's a delay on the camera. Okay, hang on. Well, how did I do that? How did I do that? Maybe I, can I come? So this one's not delayed, but this one is. So give me one second. Oh, off and then back on. Normally that sorts it out. There we go. Um, you love the theme. I, I throw all the ideas in and then chip away as I go. I actually really like that. And we have the... And then it goes. Obviously, if you actually have them so, like soloed into. Because these guys have been silent like throughout this whole section. Get up there, son. Get up there. There we go. Let's put you on the horn too. 
The horn and the trumpet. Great combination. Brilliant. Sounds amazing. <laughs> no. There we go. Then it's like... Okay, I need this to be like stable, I think. Maybe if I just have it constantly up. Sounds kind of cool. Actually, I, I can't decide. Now, there was one thing about Berlin Brass that I got really excited about, and now I can't figure out how to fucking do it. Right? So hopefully you guys have watched the videos on how to do it because I haven't yet. But I was told that I can make, fuck off, love to a beautiful woman. No, uh, like I can take this, for example, and if something like if I do like is it poly key switch and velocity switch I want it to key switch The number of selected key switch determines the range at which each slot will react. Where do I set that? You see, I want it. To, I, I want it to be like like cine samples, where I can play soft. Uh, play soft for. Uh, and I want it to go to Mercato when I when I play harder. Wait, 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 wait. Have we started off bar? No. <laughs> no, so we don't want it to be triplet. It feels like it wants to be triplet, but it doesn't want to be. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So we actually want a like a tempo jump like here. Well, like 150, no, not 15. No one wants a tempo of 15, you div. Like if I, no, fuck, okay, eights, okay, eights, and then zoom in, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, like that. This is what I was hearing in my head. I 
had it as triplets, which is roughly the same time, but it works better with everything if you just do it at the right tempo. Are they, oh, they're not minus, minus 80. So it's like, uh, do the I might do the um like instead do the but then I would if I did that I think I'd have to go food is all for me that is my that is my wonderful girlfriend jj who is making food for herself but not for me <laughs> So like something like that. Wait, so what would it be? I can't decide which theme I'm actually going to go with. Um... works better like because that's how i'm hearing it but it might work better <laughs> nope not you like it feels like it wants to be slower melody
I could do something like that. Something like that. How far apart are your monitors? About that far. Oh no, my video capture card. Hang on. I'm I'm delayed again. Let me fix this. Okay, it should be better. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I might delete this. I can't decide. It's a bit shit. Same again. Bow. So we'd have a little little thing there. And then we and then we on the big brass. That's in the big brass. You see, I need to figure out how to do the um, the key switch so that uh, so that when I hit hard, it does the sustain note. Because, like for example, I know that you can set it up, but it's not pre-set up for you. So I don't know how to do it. So I'll have to ask someone. So like if I was doing um, like the twelve horn articulations. In, I'd be like,
So we're just gonna, we're gonna make that a bit wider. And I wanna do that on the horns. But I need it to sustain when I hit hard. Like this. Fucking cunt nugget. Jesus. Okay. the second like I kind of that feels like the second phrase you know going to be my counter so <laughs> ah, fucking what, what is it going to be what is it going to be so That might work. Well, we're going to start from here. No, one bar back. Well, no, one bar forward. Can't middle fuck. I want to do it on the fucking Berlin horns. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Right. Hey, Dan, I believe you have to put the articulations into the matrix and set a velocity switch. Okay, let's give it a go. We're learning as we go. So what do I do? Do I drag it? Do I drag it? Right. How do we do it? Do we click this? Sustain trip clear. No. What did, no. What does that do? What, no, what did I do? I put a thing. Okay. What do I drag it? Do I no? Drag? No. Drag? No. <laughs> drag you in there? I don't. Oh, what have I done? No, I did fuck off. Now this 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 is something they need to make easy, right? My my mantra has always been. My mantra has always been that if you make a sample library, an idiot has to be able to use it, like me. So if you're going to have, right, one of the big selling features of this library for me was the ability to um, play lines like I could in the Cine samples, which isn't, that isn't Cine samples like this. And when I hold it, it goes to a sustain or it goes to a long marcato. That would be perfect, but I, there's no easy or obvious way to make that happen. This legato button switches on true legato for the articulation. No, so I don't want that. Is it this? Oh, Jesus, what does this mean? Okay, layers, PP, is it this? No, that's just which layers go on it. Right. 
Does anybody have a, an answer? Do I right click it? No. Nope. Do I? You have to push the two key switches at the same time. What? <laughs> Uh, oh, fucking, this makes no sense. I'm sure when they were doing it, it was like, this makes perfect sense. What even, what? No, no, no. Orchestral tools, why you do this to me? Okay. Right. Okay. So I found the key switches. I found them. They're up. They're up at the top. Fuck. You, you know what I mean? Like this, this should be easy. Let me show you as a comparison, how I, how I set this up in Cinebrass, right? I just realized that it's just me. This is how, like, so I don't know what to click. Look, all the all the key switches are up here. I'm pushing like four at the same time. I'm on the wrong thing. Ah, fuck. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'll take it back. I take it back. No, fuck you. Fuck you. I take it back. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, I'll take it, but it makes no sense. Okay, so I want this, 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 and that. Okay. That makes no sense. And why is this at the... Okay, do I have to push them in order? No. Fuck. Okay, okay, we may have set it up. There we go. But why is Stacatissimo so fucking low? There's no, there's no number. Okay, okay, relax, Daniel. Relax. It's okay. It's okay. So we'll have sustain at the bottom. You can only have four. <laughs> okay. Why does Stacatissimo not have a number? So just fucking super soft. It has to be fucking super soft if I want it. Like, like this. Right, okay. Bear with me one second. I'm saving this. I'm saving it. Save multi-ensemble as... This is how fucking easy it would have been. Like, I love these guys so much, but this is such a schoolboy error. This is such a schoolboy error, okay? Like, all it would take is what I'm about to do is set it up and then save it as another patch for me. Okay, we're going to set this a little bit higher, this a little bit. We're going to set that really hard. This is up there. This is up there. Can we set this up like even higher? Okay, we'll try playing it with this horn now. We need we need to turn it up. You see, I'm used to I'm used to big epic horns. Um, sorry, I, I will put the camera back. I just realized it's still on me. 
Ah, it's going to jump out. And I remember they set it up really well. Okay, I need to turn off velocity. Velocity switch. You see, because look. Like, st the, st the spiccato should be loud as fuck there. D d yeah. Okay, so I'm a little bit annoyed by this, right? So you can set it up. You can set it up like I did in that weird roundabout way. Like this, which is great. Okay, that's fine. So this is velocity switched. Right? But... I can never get the stacker... I can never get the staccatissimo to be that loud. How? How do I do this? Oh, fuck me. What? You see... I, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay, let's try it. So you, I don't know. I don't know. I want I want to love that feature but it's not like it's not done for me. What? So these need to, you see. Oh. So you end up with ones poking out and shit. Um, someone says maybe the staccatissimo doesn't go that, that high. It does, um, and I will show you, I will show you briefly. So I just have the stack at the stack at by itself. You see, like it, it does do it. It goes all the way up there. But unfortunately for me. It like oh, that's such a cool feature that's wasted. It's, I mean, okay, like there's similar, a similar line on Cinebrass I can do like this. You know, it's just easier to play. Uh, 
It's also a wrench next to the articulation. Maybe you can add mood control dynamics. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a gander. Right, so we've got our thing set up. There's a little wrench next to it. Nope. Nothing there. I, I just need to turn off the velocity sensitivity of them. You know what I mean? Like, can you see the mod wheel at the bottom there? The thing that's going up and down? I need it so that when the, like, when the mod wheel is doing the thing, right, a little wrench, volume wrench, maybe I do this. Nope. Dynamic switch? Nope. Ah. Perfect. Good call, guys. Good call. Good call. This is some bullshit, though. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Why, do, why am I setting this up, guys? Why am I setting this up? What was that? Dynamic switch? Should that be on? There we go. So now... That's a bit high. <laughs> You see, that should have been done for me because look, okay, that was easy. Now that we've done it, we know how to do it and it's easy, right? But if you don't know how to do that, which I didn't before you guys saved the day, it's confusing as fuck. <laughs> and that's an awesome feature because it allows you to play lines like that. You know, so now, now I can actually try playing that on the proper, proper keys. And now I forgot how to play the keyboard. Right. Fuck that up. But so these are the short notes. So these want to be like staccato ish. And these are like short mini ones. So these want to be less than a hundred. And this one's to be. This one wants to be. You see, they're still, they're still. Um, have I fucked this up? Are they still doing the same fucking thing? Is it per, is it? Okay, I think Marcato's short didn't. Yeah, we don't want it on, right? Ah, okay. It was already on for those two because why not? Why not? Let's have it on for some, but not for all. Fuck. You know, like when you, it, should I tell you what? That like things like that, and give me that kind of brotherly love with orchestral tools. Like I hate that I, that isn't done for me, but you still love them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh god. <laughs> So that should now. Why 
Why is this one going quiet? <laughs> What, what have I got expression fucked up or something? What is going on? It seems like almost random at times. I'm trying to figure that out. Let's try it. So we want this like long. This wants to be under a hundred. This wants to be over. Maybe I have to actually hold the note. try this long marcato but short ah okay so the marcatos are only as long as they last okay <laughs> boom, boom, boom. let's try doing I'm trying. I'm just trying some new phrases. Okay, so it should as well be able to do chords, right? should be able to do like little little rhythmical things because they're on staccato so did i bring the mod so why did that go quiet at the end The shorts sound better, like they're more defined. But you have to you have to actually make sure that you've programmed it correctly. And it seems there seems to like the velocity layers seem to uh 
All right, let's try this. Let's see what this sounds like. Like that works. And then I need to pull these so this spiccato. And these could probably be um, like the, the half. And that's cool because I can actually do like like fast passing lines. And it actually works. <laughs> I forgot we did that soft thing. Except we need to set the fucking thing up again. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine though. It's fine. <laughs> oh, random pitch shift. So it was like. The <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Right, okay, so we need to do the polyphonic, we need to do the velocity shift, and we need to do the staccato, we need to turn off the velocity cross feed of the fucking things. Okay, turn off, turn off, marcato. Fuck, right, right, so what we do now is we go up to the velocity. That's fuck, that's wrong. Where, where did you go? They put the fuck trumpet ones at the bottom just to fuck with me. <laughs> oh, consistency. Please. Please. Okay. Oh. Just just consistency is all I ask. Da, 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 da. So we're going to have to try and program that in. One, one two, three. So these need to... These needs to be bum 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 bum. But like somewhere in the middle there. But that is needs to be minus 80 maybe? Yeah. 
you need to turn the fuck down. The sound, the sound, the lag. Right, it didn't like that very much. So let me. Um, oh my, my, my camera's out of sync. Did my latest movie have a Scottish guy in it or something? I don't know. I don't know. So we can go. I could be like Scottish, a Scottish guy. You like the way we say Scottish. So Boom, da da dun dun. Right. Like that. It's like that. It's like that there. Oh no. Da 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 dun. Da 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 dun. Like that. Over there. For some reason, these fuckers are going with you. Aye. I could probably get away with these ones being da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, so we <laughs> I finally reached the limit. Keep going like that. Just keep going. Just keep going, son. I forgot where we started. Oh, yeah.
something like that. Like we're, right, we're going to put that top line there on the top, like that. And then that way, we'll pull it down like that. Keep going up like that. Pull it all, go down. Go down. That shite. That'll do. Now we need to bring in the brass like we did last time. Give me a break.
wonder if. <laughs> It doesn't like that. It really doesn't like that. Okay. This, this is not, it is not liking it. I'm going to turn off my video for a bit, just in case it's my video. Um, okay. Oh, we got a number, sir. Oh, we've still got this loaded in. Get out of here. I don't want a trumpet again. I need the trombone. Let's get that trombone up in here. Right, trumpet ensemble. No, I, I did it again. I keep loading the fucking oh, trombone. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so where is it this time? Is it down or is it up? Make up your mind. Right, so the, no, right it's up the top this time. Oh, fuck. God. Okay. No. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fuck you. Stegatissimo. There we go. We'll put those on. Put this up to like 110. This up to around 90. This up to around 50. Such a jerk. No, that's fine. No, I agree. My, my face cam can be a little bit too much. If you guys want it back on, let me know. But if you're cool without it, um, you know, well, I mean, I think it's the video camera that fucks it up because it seems to be like on a mega delay. So maybe if I let that release and then do that, I should be back to normal. Oh, yeah, that was it. I needed to stacks. Turn that off. Um, I'm putting it back on just to annoy you now, Black Coyote, just so you know. Just so that you know. Um, okay. Actually, I'm going to put it on my web. Hello. Now you can have nothing but face cam. Everybody can blame him for that. No. Uh, save trumpet ensemble as short arts. And I'm going to save... The trombone, trombone ensemble as the short arts. Have I done any music for um, Battlefield 1? No, but I wish I had off.
God, it's like, it's like pop, pops and crackles and pops. So I wonder if it does it with the cam off, just out of interest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I need to minus 80. So if anybody's wondering, by the way, why I do that, that minus 80 at the top left there, that is so that um, uh, that is so that like you, you hear the samples, like if I put it against the click. Helps if you play these perfectly in time, but um, basically the gist, the gist, I want these to be really short. Uh, so uh, when when they record samples, they leave on like they don't uh, they don't cut the actual uh, sample on the transient. Like obviously, there's a little bit, there's a few milliseconds before each sample uh, of air, you know, just as the just as they blow into it before the actual attack reaches the end of the bell of the um, of the instrument. So you normally end up with like a few milliseconds delay if you put a click on where the samples will feel like they're behind. Luckily, most sample libraries these days are actually um, doing a set time, you know, so they're doing it, uh, I think these are 80 milliseconds back, which means that if I set my uh, delay compensation to minus 80, uh, I think it's minus 80 here. That means that now it should play on the beat. Might not be that much. Maybe it's 50. Should be good. Clicks and pops are probably because it's loading too many samples. So let's let's uh, see if this old thing works. So there used to be a thing where you could purge the sample, purge update sample pool. So let's do that because these take up usually quite a lot. Well, not those ones. These ones take up half a gig each. These ones take almost a gig each. I have 64 gigs of RAM, but I'm curious as to if this is a sample buffer loading problem or if this is uh, because I'm, well, it's it is because I'm streaming. See, like, I don't know what that is. Interesting. Sound seems to be the trumpets. I love that 
so much. Hmm. I do love that a lot. Let's have just the brass from the beginning. Uh, and so I, I haven't figured out why it keeps choking like it does. It's like the CPU overloads, but there's not much going on. Fast forward a bit. Yeah. Okay, so how am I going to lower this? Can I put more of this into RAM? Let's have a look. Settings. Uh, engine. Multi-processor. Wait, I have 12 cores. Fuck. I have 12. Um, let's try this. medium. Let's try that. See what it does. Interesting. Don't I ever save to bounce to save CPU? Nah. I don't think it's the CPU that's overloading. I think it's like, um, oh, maybe it is. <laughs> right, let me let me save this. Let me save this. So we're going to have a little chat for a minute. I'm going to restart Cubase and see if it's like leaking memory or some shit. And I'll take a look at the activity monitor. As you do. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Right, let's close this down and reload. Hello, everybody. How are we? I'm going to bring you over into the middle for a minute. Hey, there's me. Okay. What is your contact preload instrument buffer size? I should probably up that a little bit, right? Um, well, you see, I'm loading everything off SSD, so it shouldn't really matter too much, like what the buffer is, but maybe it does. Maybe it does. So let me, let me take a look. Yeah, it looks like Cubase is really 
under the load. Right, let me uh, contact five. Let's have a look at what the preload buffer is. Dun, 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 um, interface, database, memory, right. My buffer is 60 kilobytes. I'm, I'm pulling from SSDs. And you see, I never really changed this. So, um, so what should I set this at? Should I set this lower or higher? I probably want this higher, right? I want more. Like I want to have more in the buffer. More in the buffer? Maybe I should say that I like. Well, yeah, uh, no, that wasn't Cine Strings. That was um, Cinematic Studio Strings by Cinematic Sampling, um, which is a fantastic library. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> um, do I want a buffer more or less? I mean, I've got 64 gigs of RAM. I'm pulling off SSD, but it's going over USB 3. Take up more RAM. Okay, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with like double what it was. Let's go, let's go with that. Okay. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna load Cubase back up. Oh, my neck. I haven't done one of these streams in forever. I've missed you guys. How many people we got in the chat? Like 10? I'm seeing like 10 people talking. So I'm assuming we've got like so it's it's really late at night. I'm I'm gonna say like 15, 15 people. Set it what? Set it at 128. Okay, I'll set it at 128. Do I have any instruments on the rack? What? Do you have any instruments on the RAM memory? Uh, yeah, they, they all load into RAM. That's how it works. Daniel, you're going to stream more to see your streams. Uh, yeah, I'm planning on streaming more. Still working out my Berlin Brass track, but it's awful at the minute. Right, let's see if this works. <laughs> That worked. <laughs> Whatever I changed.
heard a click then. Is it already fucked up? Is it fucked up again? No, not plugin manager. Although I've got a lot of plugins. Uh, performance. Okay, that seemed to fuck up. <laughs> the, maybe it's the choir that's fucking up. It like randomly does it. It seems to be the choir that's messing with me. So. Whatever. Um. Cubase, oh, I have no idea. I don't know Cubase very well. <laughs> Thank you. 
coffee. You guys need to calm the fuck down. Fuck did we change to five for? That sounds higher than it should be. One second. Just gonna check the uh, the settings. The settings on the VSTs. Where's the audio? Oh god, my neck. Record. Record all the things. Like that. 
There we go. There we go. Fuck off, then. Workspace devices. Device setup. ASIO guard. Do I want to set that to low? This leads to reduced audio processing performance. Use this setting for the highest audio processing performance to play back mainly VST instruments. This leads to increased audio guard latency and memory usage. Fine, we'll do it like that. It's fine with me. Do you know that's fine with me like that? Let's apply it. Let's apply it to the whole fucking sound like. Okay, the next problem we're going to face is making it all sound. My click's gone really high. And that sounds higher than it should be. Hmm, interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna just, for now, for now, we're just gonna keep that as a... Down. Right, now we'll to go like that. There we go. Get on the line. Get on the fucking line. There we go. Pull in. Pull in all the sounds that we like. Perhaps some audio. Perhaps not. Get some doll up in there. I like the doll. Who done I like the doll? Quantize that like that, make it sound really pretty. Now we're going to do it like this. Grab this fucker like that. Drag it over there. Beautiful, like that. We'll pull this down here like this. In fact, fuck it, we'll go up here. Wrong fucking one. We'll open that. Pull in some better sounds. Like. Like the like the low the low hits we'll get the sordo. I will get, we get the we get the sordo. We make it 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 sound fine. We like it like that. Nobody make fuss. <laughs> are you doing? The fuck are you doing? Hi, hi, I see the plug. I see the 
problem right there. It's playing offbeat for no fucking reason. That was terrible. I'm sorry. I take that back. Okay. <laughs> There should be no line. There should be no line like that. Like that, like that. That's fine. That's fine. There's a problem around here. Like that, not that one. Right there. There we go. Look for the problem. The lines are too close together. Like that. There's another one here. And there. And there. Oh no. Oh no. Cut that one right up. If you say so, beautiful. with a delay. <laughs> I'm just going to have to program it in.
I'm sorry. like that. And if I turn it off, you know what We don't need it that much. Jesus Christ. I need a different perspective. God, what didn't get selected?
Why would one, just one? Fucking hell. For now, I think, I think the culprit is this. So it sounds beautiful, but for now, I'm going to change it to Requiem. Smart guy, ready to go. You fucking UI. <laughs> I know what it fucking needs. I'm, I'm trying to do as much like with the Berlin brass, like I'm dying not to try anything else in it. But that doesn't mean I can't use Metropolis Arc for the strings. Now you listen how this is just going to stick out and punch you in the face. <laughs> in fact, I need the legs. I need the legs. I need the legs. Where are the legs? There they are. Yeah, this will this will be sad. That's what I wanted. That's what you fucking need. Get in there, you cunt. Go on, here we go. Am I in the wrong key now? I am. Okay, here we go.
swear something's fucked up, so I'm going to reset this in a second. second half that's a bitch. Du, du, du. I don't have to do it like that. Go, babe. Okay. That's more common, I guess. since yet. to do like what I actually really want to do like if this was my own track I would layer this up and not because because this is a small section I've gone over the top so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just just you know I'm faking it till I make it and some of them big horns in there
That's probably cheating, isn't it? doesn't like that so i'm gonna just go with the brass for a second streaming and writing is so hard for some reason fuck's sake It kind of works by itself, I guess. dip in one of them who knows why
Sorry, I'm in I'm in a zone. Don't know if it's a good one or a bad one, but fuck it, we're in it. going on. sounding more like a track. I'm still convinced that I've broken something though. Do, do, do. I've dropped like 17,000 frames. <laughs> Sorry if it's lagging and stuff. Good morning. Was there a random miscord? What was that about? random phantom data coming from someone said it perfectly it's phantom data you, see, you hear the string fucking up this string line here
Oh, there we go. That's why this fucking thing has gone to number three. Because why not? There we go. had it every other time. Makes sense. I forgot that that was there. do that. Fuck you. Fuck you.
wind chimes. Okay, let me try. Let me try. Someone have bell tree up in here. Oh. Where you at? Where you at? Why not? Well, that was louder than I expected. Ugh, why they do this? Much better. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Did you change too? You did because you you're a fool.
that section. Right, we want to just make these quantize on the quarter note.
ba 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 See what this sounds like. Not the strings because there's too much going on in the strings. <laughs> oh, God. See that works in context. Three up, and then let's just let's just take let's just take like from like here. No, let's put those there. Okay. So I'll have it, I'll have it build. What's this? Where's the, where's that fucking thing? Okay, we'll have this go into it as well.
Sorry. Let me try again.
It kind of worked. Kind of worked. We'll keep that. What's with all these really long fucking things? How's everyone doing? Everybody good? so dramatically. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's see how it plays.
What are you? Holy shit. Right, let me let me have a look at what I've missed. Hello guys. Sorry about that. Um how many people did we manage to make through the night? Like it's like 15 or something. That's awesome. Um gosh, I came here 3 hours ago and now it's 7:40 UK time and not been to bed. God damn it, man. God damn it. You got to sleep. Um why Cubase and not Ableton? Because I just finished a feature film score, which needed lots of dense orchestration shit. And um, Ableton just wasn't cutting it because like if I wanted to, um, for example, sorry about the smacking of the lips there. For example, if I wanted to transpose like the entire cue, like I actually did when I was working on this one. You see, there's quite a few tracks there. And in Ableton, if I wanted to transpose, I'd have to go through each and every one of them. Uh, in order to actually make uh, the thing. Whereas this, I can just select all the bits, push enter, and boom. I can like edit them all at once. Um, oh God, my video went out of sync. Hang on. There we go. Should be back. Uh, so, I mean, I can do that. That's a good thing. That's fun. Uh, oh God, my neck. Um, what else? Um... The mixer, I actually enjoy the mixer way more. Um, I like having this kind of routing thing. You know, I like having just the strip set up. The, the routing, I have like some good FX, uh, FX sends ready to go. I can fade, not fade, but I can zoom in and out of the mixer. You know, that's useful. I can pull up meters if I want to. You know, it's, it's just got more, it's just got more actual composing features. So if you're, if you're planning on, um, composing, you know, it's definitely better to use Cubase for the overall, like if you're doing a big score one, lots of MIDI, whenever I'm doing like, a, like on the score, I had to do some EDM style tracks. And for those, I used Ableton and, you know, whenever I do a big hybrid -y type sound, I use Ableton, but I wanted to write something a bit more orchestral for this Berlin brass video. I'm probably going to carry on with that later, but um, you know, let me, let me just, I'm going to play the brass in the background by itself. You know, it's got a cool sound. What do you think? Hey, Sky Barrier. late on that change there. You know, and even when it's going big, because it's a smaller section than what I'm used to. So I'm trying not to go too hybrid bombastic with it. I'm trying to be more, um, you know, laid back, like. It's a bit more laid back. And I think it's like if ever I'm doing the film score stuff, that's going to be perfect. I mean, the strings, I think the string section I've got figured out, you know, that. You know, in terms of tone, I think I've nailed that. This is what my film score I just did sounds like um, in terms of tone. So there's that.
Got some beautiful Albion 5 going on there as well. Yeah, so you've got a nice build. And then you drop down to the big epic. This gets a bit messy though, which is unfortunate. There, a bra, bras, the brass. There, it's just do you guys think I'm showing the brass well enough here? I mean, like the beginning, giving it its lyrical thing. I'm trying to be all you know, dynamic. And you have the midsection where it's being a, playing a supporting role. You know, because you got all... So it's the support. And then playing it where it's, you know, trying to play the big top sound, you know. I'm actually very impressed. Like... One thing that annoyed me uh, really bad, and if if any of you are just joining, by the way, um, and you missed the beginning, you'll actually see me setting this up. So I recommend you all do it. And it, the thing that annoyed me is that the patch didn't come like this. I had to set it up like this. So as you can see here, like the lower the velocity, the lower the velocity, the more uh, the more staccato it is. The more so it goes all the way down to not spiccato but staccatissimo. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, so you see, I've got like, these are short, these are like, this one's really red, so this one's longer. And these are all different samples. And it wasn't set up like that when it it came, you know. So we actually had to set this up. And Lord knows how, how we did it. The chat actually helped me with that. But it allows you to create lines that do shit like, like this. Let's see if I turn that off. Um, no. Nope. Which is beautiful. Maybe a bit off topic, but did you know you can hide the folder track data? The folder is open expanded. You might not like that, but it helps. Oh, no, I, I, I like having it open like this. I always have it like that. And then, you know, I, I, I normally leave it open. It's just the way I do. It's the way I be because this is how it's set up in Ableton as well. So it's consistency is important to me. But, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a demo that actually shows off the library better. Um, but we'll see. 
I'm curious. I'm going to save this first. I'm curious to see what it sounds like in different keys. So that's what we're going to do for a second. Just the brass though. Right, so let's let's try it like like four up. <laughs> That's way too high. I'm curious. Bring it back down the four and go down another two. Makes it more solemn. So yeah, you can load it um, individual articulations or multis, which I've done. So you see up at the top here, I just loaded in the legato patch, the soft patch, because I'm playing the chords on the horn too. Like literally not the horn as well. I mean the horn number two. Uh, trumpet ones on a legato. Tuba's just the legato by itself. And then uh, after that, I loaded the, uh, the multi patches, which look like this. Um, so they're single, so multi-articulation and I'm, I've actually loaded the ensembles and what I did is, it, and I'm going to say this again for anybody who's watching. Uh, so you see here, I have the Staccatissimo Marcato, like, uh, this thing basically so that when I, um, wait, which one is it? Yeah, this one. it is but you see like you can play like if i play soft i get sh uh staccatissimo if i play really hard i get the long so you know you can go and then normally i fix it afterwards because it's kind of hard to play the softer ones uh, but to do that what you have to do is actually uh come here where it says mono poly key ks you have to go to the velocity switch, turn it on, then you have to hold all the key switches that they are, and it'll load them in. Then you need to go into the individual wrench and turn off the CC velocity crossfade, which means that you can uh, control the dynamics with the mod wheel. And if that sounds like a lot of fucking work, it really was. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, and that's what I'm saying. I wish that they would just, they would have, it is. I wish there was a, like, they'd have just made that a patch because that's going to be something that people make a lot of use out of. Now, this webcam goes out of sync so easily. Um, I don't know why. At least it isn't crashing the computer as much as it did on uh, the fucking um, PC. Do you remember that? Not the PC, the laptop rather. I don't know if this is any good. I might delete it. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm unsure. What you, how, could I, how could I be showing it better? What am I not showing? Like, what am I not doing that I should be? What am I not doing that I should be? Ow. Beautiful. That's the thing. I, I only ever show them how I use it. Let's take a look at the articulation list. So Vero Sound says, what do you use to control the volume for the bra shorter articulations to shape it more? So I, I actually like, it depends. So if I'm just having something do a short line, like, you know, it's just accenting the, uh, you know, the downbeat or something, I'll actually just use a staccato patch because then that's when that's velocity sensitive. So when you hit the keys harder, the brass is louder, you know, it's, it's played harder. Uh, however, when you're writing lines like this, uh, like this one, like I showed a second ago. You know, that's that's a combination of, you know, really short sounds and longer um, short sounds, you know, so staccatissimo to marcato long. And that's more like how a brass player would actually phrase, um, phrase, you know, a musical phrase. You know, it would be bum, 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 bum. And whereas with just a legato patch, it'd be like, you know, which is okay, I suppose. But like, if you want it to be like this, and if if velocity, <laughs> if it was mod wheel that controlled this, okay, you could set it so that the mod wheel was down and then when this came, it's up. But then sometimes you have that weird thing where uh, if the mod wheel data is like one tick after the MIDI note, it plays the the, the wrong articulation. Um, you could set up a, what, what's the Cubase thing? You know, the um, the the thing that lets you write, you know, put in actual staccato and stuff. You could probably do that. But the way I prefer to do it is ha like play it soft. And then like the redder it is, the longer it's going to be. So I should probably make this one short. See, I can make this a full longer one. You know, so I, I find that it, it tends to be more... Um, dynamic if you do it like that and then you actually control i mean like it's mostly just all the way at the top here but you see i've got these little rivets uh these little waves of modulation data at the bottom that basically allows me to uh you know make it feel like someone's 
I've told them to play it fucking loud. And then, you know, like they're adjusting how they play it on the fly, you know, kind of how they would play it in real life. That's the gist of what I was going for there. Normally I don't mind too much about real life, but in this particular one, I kind of wanted to do that, you know, make it a bit truer to life. <laughs> Anyway, for today, my friends, that is going to be um, that is going to be as much as I'm going to compose because it is um, in my time uh, almost twenty past one in the morning, and I have been streaming now for five hours on the dot. Um, this was actually a relatively successful stream where nothing really of note went wrong, so I'm probably going to upload this to YouTube. So if you're in the chat room, don't leave just yet. But I'm just going to do an outro for YouTube because I'm going to clip this and put this one on YouTube, you know, the writing process with brass, and then I'll do an actual video down the line. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, um, thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you managed to watch this on YouTube for five hours, congratulations. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, what you saw and like, watching me struggle and fail miserably at writing something big and epic. Um, you know, so make sure to subscribe down below. Isn't that, that's what we say at the end of YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I feel awkward now. Now I'm doing it on the stream. I feel awkward. Anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And then I would cut. So like, uh, fuck it. That, that was the